I made a video on what you should do after sexual intercourse to improve you and your partner's health. And someone asked, Miss Miss Mary, not just after sex, can you please tell us what we should put at the back of our mind before sex? Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you 12 things you should do before sex, not just after sex. 12 things you should put at the back of your mind before sex. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are the topics you are interested in, please and kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you 12 things you should take note of to have a great sex at the end of the day. 12 things you should put at the back of your mind as a man or as a woman. We all know that for sex to be enjoyable, for sex to be okay, it has to be enjoyed by both partners. The man has to enjoy it and also the woman has to enjoy it for there to be a balance when it comes to sex. But most times, the man might be in the mood, the woman is not in the mood. Or the woman is in the mood, the man is not in the mood. So this video is going to help you balance the whole thing and give you an idea of what to do to actually enjoy the sexual intercourse between both parties. So in terms of sex, to get your partner ready, it begins in the beginning of the day. Yes, that takes us to the first point, which is sex testing each other. What do I mean by that? When you're at work, your partner is at work or your partner is at home, but both parties are not together. The first thing you have to do is to start communicating. The man sent a message to the woman. Oh, I missed you. I can't wait to get home. You're so beautiful. I bless the day I met you. I love you. I love the way you love me. I cherish you. S tell sweet things to this lady. You are getting her prepared. You are, making her, you are making her feel special. You are making her feel loved. Yes, say things sincerely from the heart to her. Communicate with her. Tell her how much you miss her. Tell her how much you wish you were at home with her or you were in her workplace. Same thing applies to the woman. If you are in the mood, you don't know if your spouse is in the mood. It is high time you send your spouse a message. Tell him how special he is. Tell him how good of a father he is to the kids. Tell him how he has been a blessing to you. Tell him how much you miss him. So that is what you should do at the beginning to get both parties in the mood. You are in the mood, she's not in the mood. So you have to balance the whole thing by making the other partner in the mood before the main encounter that particular night or whatsoever time of the day you people want to have the journey started so just make sure you do your best to ensure both parties are in the mood it is very very important then the second one if possible get a gift like when coming oh i saw this shoe i saw this and i decided to buy it for you i know it's not every time money will be available to buy a gift but if you can you can buy some chocolate i know you like chocolate i know you like popcorn i know you like strawberry ice cream just get us something no matter how cheap it is when the money is not there, fine, just go home and start with that basis. So the second point I have to share with you was what? Get her a gift. Yes, get her a gift no matter how little it is. After starting the day with so much talk, checking up on her back to back, that will make her feel loved. That will make him feel loved. That will make him like, oh, you understand? You're trying to bring her orgasm. You're trying to increase her urge at that particular moment. Then the third point I have to share with you is get protection. Condoms. Yes, get condoms condoms especially if you don't want to get pregnant because a lady will get scared during the process of having sex oh i don't want to get pregnant are you sure this sex is not going to lead to a baby are you sure this sex is not going to lead to a pregnancy so to avoid that thought it is advisable you use protection it's advisable you use protection to to avoid the sperm going into the woman's body for fertilization or for something else and for those that are not married though i don't encourage premarital sex it is advisable you get condoms to prevent stis sexually transmitted infection and also unwanted pregnancy that's the third point then the fourth point is get post p especially if you as a lady you are on your ovulation get posting on two ready it's for emergency a case paraventure there was no condom there was a rupture of the condom and the sperm leaks into the vagina the post p is going to help stop your ovulation from happening and fertilization from taking 
place. That's the fourth point. Then the fifth point is take a good shower, get prepared, smell nice, put on the best nightwear if possible. If your husband likes the nightwear or your partner likes the nightwear, put on this nightwear, get prepared for it. Know you are about doing something fun, like you're about doing something enjoyable that you want to enjoy, like you don't want to just um, ride on it and just for the, like for the sake of doing it. It's something you really want to enjoy. So get prepared like i earlier said dress well smell nice so that both parties will be balanced then the other point i have to share with you is empty your bladder yes the sixth point empty your bladder because during especially for the ladies when you are having sex and your bladder is full you might feel some pain as a result of that filled bladder but for the men i don't really know how they feel with the full bladder but they will be in a better position to explain that emptying the bladder is also very important when it comes to sexual intercourse then the other point i have to share with you is for the ladies that have kids make sure your kids are sleeping make sure you've arranged them make sure you put them in a position where they are not going to disturb your mind set where they are not going to disturb your sexual encounter because when you are having sex and your kids come around it's going to distract the whole thing even if you have high orgasm because your kids are present because the baby is crying you will not be able to actually focus more on the sexual intercourse you'll be having divided attention so it is best you prepare your baby if you have a kid a baby like me the best thing is to do is to ensure that oh my baby is sleeping at that particular time feed them so that they don't cry give them their food get your kids ready so they don't end up distracting the main events when it begins because that is going to affect the sexual intercourse the point i have to share with you is get a lubricant especially women that have them that are that have done they did a female genital mutilation for getting them wet might be difficult and it will be so bad if as a man you know they have a um, female genital mutilation done as probably known as female circumcision and you just want to have fun without considering her pain it is very very bad so i advise you get a lubricant to help keep the vaginal wet at that particular um moment yes that's for that then the other point is spend quality time together yes when you come back from work like we can watch a movie eat popcorn eat your food together spend quality time together put your phone on one side don't allow your phone to serve as a distraction of the data let like the data connection of it like you, you know okay i'm ready for this let your mind be prepared for it yes let your mind be prepared for it like put your phone on silence then the other point i have to share with you is avoid spicy food at that particular moment because spicy food pepperish food might cause chest bone you need energy giving food not spicy food at that particular moment to be able to embark on the journey of mm -hmm, to be able to embark on the journey and one thing i will advise you is that don't shave don't shave or wax immediately but that's before sex immediately before sex so you don't say oh i want to have sex and you shave and wax no it's not even advisable you shave or wax the same time or minutes or hours before your sexual intercourse it is not advisable then the last point i have to share with you is that make sure there's a clear consent yes both parties should like agree to it because if one party is not in the mood despite everything you've done and um it's not like oh just go ahead no there should be a clear consent so it doesn't be an incident of rape if there is no clear consent between the man and the woman is it that the man is raping the woman or the woman is raping the man and that is very bad that is one person is enjoying the sexual intercourse then i think that's um and that's all I have to share with you in regards to what you should put at the back of your mind before sexual um, intercourse. And I hope this video help you. Don't forget, if you know you're in the mood, your partner is not in the mood, remember to start the day caring about them, remember to start the day talking about them, remember to tell them how much you miss them, if possible, get them a gift, do all you can. It's not easy, especially when you are not in the mood to have sex just to please this partner. So both parties, you understand? should be involved i believe for those that are married and are having sexual intercourse you agree with me that when both parties are involved when both parties are prepared when both parties are like are in the mood it is sweeter that way than when both just one party is in the mood so this is what i have to share with you uh, because I have actually gotten a lot of messages from women in particular saying they are not enjoying sex. It's not really easy to be a woman, a mother, 
and you're trying to have injury sex it's not really easy you have a lot of things at your mind you have your kids in your mind and all that so that may increase your sexual urge and decrease your libido at that particular moment but in all i hope these tips are useful to help you um enjoy sex to the fullness this is just a personal advice and i believe it's going to be helpful it has worked yeah it worked all right thank you very much for staying to you thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is most messy mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video